So I came to Cambridge and to what was then the Faculty of uh, Social and Political Sciences in 1992. Uh, so initially I had a college position at Southern College. And in 2000, I became a university lecturer uh, in, in the, what was then it's still the Faculty of Social and Political Sciences. And uh, I've been uh, teaching in sociology since then. Of course, uh, we've now, we now have a sociology department and uh, I've been head of the department uh, for three years between 2014 and 2017. Uh, so I've been here for quite a long time. I think it's very difficult to talk about, uh, you know, a particular memorable experience. Uh, what I would say, because we now, you know, this is now basically the beginning of October when all the new students arrive, the new undergraduates and the new uh, uh, postgraduates. And I think that's a really quite exciting sort of period, which we have every year where people from all over the, over the world uh, come uh, and it's new to them and they're terribly excited. They've got, they've got plenty of ideas. And uh, you know that's really quite a very special, uh, special sort of moment, uh, which we have every every year. Obviously, we have a thriving undergraduate program, and uh, for a number of years now, we have the Human Social and Political Sciences Tripos, together with our colleagues in political science and in social anthropology, and now it's criminology. Uh, in which you can specialize in sociology in the in the second and third year, and I think that's uh, obviously been you know, an amazing achievement, uh, especially because it's becoming uh, very very popular. Uh, also, we have a you know, very successful MPhil program, which now has uh, this year has uh, more than forty students. Uh, we have a uh, a thriving PhD program. I think on the teaching front, so the, the success has been uh, has been tremendous. With regard to the research, we have I think three clusters in which we excel: uh, theory and culture, uh, science and technology, and uh, politics and inequalities. And uh, we we obviously uh, conduct world class research in, in those three pillars of sociology. I mean, Cambridge, of course, is, a, is historically, uh, it's, a, it's a university that has a strong presence in the natural sciences. And uh, that does mean that the social sciences um, had to make a very special effort to make an inroad in this university that excels uh, and has excelled uh, so much in the natural sciences. And that practically, for example, that meant that when the social sciences came on the scene in, uh, in, in Cambridge, uh, the university brought together uh, a number of disciplines within one faculty, within one unit, sociology, political science, and uh, social psychology. So it's taken some time, uh, a number of years, for sociology and indeed for the other disciplines to find some kind of independence and to have an institutional recognition within the university, which now indeed has, has taken place. I mean, don't forget that sociology was coined at the beginning of the 19th century by Auguste Comte. Uh, it was uh, introduced in the course uh, of the 19th century. It was institutionalized in the UK, mainly in the beginning of the 20th century. Now in Cambridge terms, that's still you know, a very youthful uh, academic discipline. So it's taken some time uh, for sociology to make an inroad within that particular academic landscape. Well, I, I would say two things. First of all, I think it's important uh, for sociology to, in Cambridge, to continue along the path that it has set out uh, in the last five to ten years, I would say it's become a very much a global uh, and a very much international department, not just in terms of where the faculty 
and the students come from, but also in terms of what's been studied. Uh, and we have now expertise uh, in various uh, aspects of the world, whether it's from Latin America to Asia. And I think that's really very important uh, to the department and to the discipline uh, as a whole. Yeah, so the second point is um, that's very really important for the department and for sociology as a whole to engage with um, present concerns, you know, with issues that really are pressing today. It's difficult to gauge what those would be in five to ten years' time, or even or let alone beyond. But uh, it's pretty clear what they're now. Indeed, we have a lot of research that's carried out now that engages with those kind of issues. Whether we're talking about populism uh, in uh, contemporary Europe or, or the digital revolution. And I think that way of engaging with the present uh, is important, but it also doesn't mean that we necessarily have to neglect what happened in the past. And indeed, a lot of the research we, which we do and which we do well uh, involves also looking back uh, and looking at how things have developed uh, over the last couple of decades or even uh, further along.